Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Currently 7.30 a.m. Anyways, for today's video, we're going to be heading up to L.A. to attend the Rose Bowl Flea Market. The last time we went was like, I want to say it was like a year ago. So the earlier you get there, the better stuff you end up finding. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make our way out of here. Just before we head out, I got a brand new pair of shoes. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys would be interested in seeing a review on these. All right, so it definitely took a whole lot longer to get the heck out of my house than I expected. And I, I think we're making okay time. And I actually got Ethan right here. I don't know if you can uh, see him or not. This one. Yeah. Every, every place we've been, everyone's like, oh, you're going to the Rose Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And also, all over Instagram on like my friend's stories and stuff, everybody's there. Hey. So, what are you, like a vintage guy now or what? Hey, I got my vintage fit on, you know, gallery department. Oh my god. Bacon cheddar panini. I was uh, talking to one of my buddies the other day on Instagram, Rockabala on Instagram, formerly known as A Marin. He decided to make a new account. The fits are still fire. What we were talking about was vintage is greater than hype. That was his post. Vintage was like greater than hype. And then he wrote at the bottom, but is vintage now hype? I was like, you know what? These aren't some. Some of these prices on vintage are astronomical. And that's not to say they're unwarranted because this stuff is probably one on one pieces. Vintage has inflated so much like, i mean look at carhartt jackets like the car jackets that I was buying even four months ago i get car jacket for like 50 bucks now 200 200 200 200 and i think that the public perception of hype and vintage now is starting to twist around on like what do you what, what are your guys' thoughts instagram and you don't see any more box logos, dude. You, all you see is vintage tees and Carhartt double knees. The sandwich is getting cold, but I did uh, go ahead and go on this diatribe because I did want to pass a question along to you. Don't let my cold sandwich be for naught. What's the oh, mask is the lit. Mask, right? That's because I get vicious with my words, man. Oh, oh hey. my God. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you guys get down. Have a good day. Know. Hey, take too. care. Take care. That was hilarious. All right, so for my outfit, keeping it light. Got a vintage tee, iced tee. Dude, look at the back. Yeah, that was a bar. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the pants, I got these Dickies work pants. Um, I got these for $20 on eBay. Too you just fun. never know what you're going to find, dude. I just love vintage shopping. And then uh, for the shoes, uh, we got the neutral grays. Uh, lots and lots of uh, wear. I want to I wear the hell out of these. And uh, I'm not babying them whatsoever. Look at this line right now. It is obscene. I guess, what do you expect though, huh? First day back. Sold out. Wait, what happened? Sold out. The flea market's completely sold yeah, out. Sold We're not letting anybody else in no. for the entire he day. Just, he just told me he's with the Rose Bowl. Wow. So go ahead and take a right and go up the hill. Wow. Watch out, watch out. Sorry. Bro, that's crazy. All right, so uh, I guess what I said earlier about Vintage being hype is very, very much so true because, dude, they shut it down. Like, I, like we were just talking about it. They stopped probably letting people in an hour ago. I don't know. It's just crazy to me. It's The event still has, like, plenty of time left, but it was packed, like, packed uh, to even just get in. So I guess it makes sense, but, man, that's crazy. We're going to end up turning around here might be calling it a day a few moments later all right guys so in a sudden change of events we decided to uh roll the dice a little bit and despite them telling us that they're not letting anybody else in we decided to go ahead and park about a half a mile out and just walk in the person who was like working the front said oh, there's just so much traffic they're getting complaints from the city and stuff uh, we're hoping that it's not uh, a product of uh not enough tickets or like too much a capacity and that it's about like traffic and people complaining about the traffic and stuff so there's a lot of people walking down still to this very moment and i don't know i just don't i don't know that they're gonna send all of us away i mean we got nothing else to lose man we drove all the way out here it's like a two hour drive bro that's gas money that i'm never gonna see again you know yeah this line's insane dude wow look at that line yeah that's great news i think we're gonna be able to get in it's a long, long line. So that's not even, that's not the line. The line's back there. Bro, this is the line. No way. I swear. 
It continues. Whatever. What's the play? I say we go, dude. Yep. I mean, what's this line gonna be like? Yo, let's go. So we're able to get our tickets. The line actually wasn't even that bad. I would say that line was about 20 minutes. We're about to head inside. Yo, are you glad that we didn't turn around? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Good call. It was a good Hell. call. So we don't actually know where to start because there's so much. So we're just gonna start like at the nearest closest one. I guess just work our way down. It's just a little oh, no, musty. No, no. I know, I kind of like it. This thing looks disgusting. <laughs> I kind of like it. Let's ask. Uh, how much is this one? 20 bucks. Is you 10 on it? Man, I know it's all filthy and shit, yeah, it's but it makes gross. it better, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Here's... Ten, all right, fair enough. Is this Venmo work or cash? I appreciate that. Thank you, bro. What's your name? Robert, bro. Robert? Oh, yeah. Pleasure. You, man. I like a t shirt. Dude, too. It's a great I, fit. I, I saw your fit, bro. I think it was like last video or two days ago. You had like the West Coast. This is the exact same fit oh, I wore. I think you had the Long Beach one. This is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is like the Puerto Vallarta one. Bro. Uh, for sure. Yeah, bro. Big sure. fan, bro. Appreciate, Appreciate you. Bro. Thank Appreciate you so much, man. Robert. Oh, Take care, man. I was just actually watching one of your videos. About, oh, no like, way. How you got into your shit. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Hey, that's crazy. Wait, how much you pay for? A lot of trades. Oh, yeah, a lot of trades. Yeah, for sure. Dude, oh my gosh, the grip is uncontrollable, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. No worries, oh, they're dope. Dang, that's crazy. Appreciate it. Congrats on the fit. You just got this? Yeah. 85. Dude, that's Thank awesome, you, man. I love the fit, too. Appreciate Yo, this is gas, dude. The Wonder Years. Nobody even knows what that is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Step out? Step out? Uh, it's not bad. Actually, yeah. it fits way better than the other one you tried on. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. Nice to meet you. Paul, nice to meet you. Hey, great mic. Yeah, yeah. like. Hey, the great laces look great yeah, in them, yeah, huh? Yeah, oh, good. How you we guys? were just saying, we're like, we're here. What if Paul's here? It's <laughs> so funny. I had it put away, though. Oh, my lord. This is Yeah. We can see, but I'm sure it's a lot. Does it look too wide? So this is a shirt that like I'm not crazy about. Crazy about the font. I probably wouldn't wear it like the normal way. But it's like the actual shirt. Yeah, the color as a blank. Yeah. I feel like it is. Pretty wide. It's okay. I can't. It's a good fade on here. It's a good color. Is there anything good in here? Yeah, the price isn't at this one actually really fair. Ethan. Just let go of. Damn, that's sick. I know, it looks you good. You had it in gray though, huh? Yeah. Well, I think mine was just way more faded. Does that tea look familiar? The tea that I have. Yours is clean and able. I like this because it like resounds with me. So if you guys don't know, uh, Cain and Abel were brothers in the scripture, in the book of Genesis. There was a situation where uh, Cain got jealous of his brother Abel, and then he killed him and God said, where's your brother? And uh, Cain's smart aleck's response was, what am I, my brother's keeper? The flaw of man, it was envy and pride. Wait, is it filming? Okay. I think so. Is it too big? 
that's too big, isn't it? Yeah. My boy. Let's go. We got peerless boy, vintage peerless in the house. Vintage in the Let's house. go. You already Jeez, know. With the fit. With the, with the fit. You know what I mean? Man, hey, I have a question. What's the, what's the code on that? It's a uh, Paul 10. Let's go. Make sure you use Paul 10. And make sure you follow him on Instagram for your vintage needs. Look at the tee. Privileged vintage with the ODB. Old dirty bastard. Jeez. Hold Hold on, on, I want to go, go. Show me your top three. That, this got to be one. Oh Fuji's. my. Fuji's. It's a $5,000 t-shirt. $5,000? 5K. Oh my lord. On that Bay Club double XL. With the Fuji lot on the back. Wow. Right. If I only get three. Only get three. Wow, we got some bangers on this one. Oh my lord. I think I found. I don't know. This is definitely up here. I don't know, Dave. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this one. No. <laughs> There's so many to choose uh, from, huh? What a hold nice on. problem uh, to have. Hold on, should Too I? Too many good shirts. You know what? I gotta go. I gotta go with the Dear Mama. Wow. Gotta go with the Dear Mama. Uh, That's number one for me. Oh, wow. That's number one. Ah, uh, I think this might be the. Hold on. That's let me let me one. let me double check though. It's let me so double crazy. Check. So Diana, much meat, bro. Uh, so many tears. Oh, I don't know. There's Mike Tyson, Space Jam, the Shaq and Kobe. I think my third one's gotta be. Yeah, I got, yeah. I, I got, I gotta go. I gotta show that. Let's go, baby. Look at that Lakers, Let's you know, go. Lakers motion, you know. I mean, I don't know. Oh, like, Selena. Oh, we got it. I don't, I don't know. She got doubles of them. I don't know. Imagine you know, having like, doubles of that shirt. If you see these fronts and if you see these backs, I think that might be a little Ooh. bit of a similarity. Oh my goodness. It might be something. Or it might be nothing. <laughs> but it's your boy, privileged long <laughs> young guy in the fucking chat. You already know. It might what be something. Love? Oh, with young. the long, <laughs> long guy, you already know. Bleep that out for the for the YouTube video, yeah, but you definitely we got that Wu Tang oh with that Kill Army. Oh my gosh! But probably my favorite's got to be old that Oh Dirty Bastard. Bastard. Like, I mean, that's why so it's on good. body. Yeah. Ooh, those are nice. What size are those? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you the size right now. Oh, 29. 29. Yeah, 29. Okay. Yeah, 29. This will almost fit me. I have enough of these though. <laughs> That's 29. Dude, you'll be swimming in that thing, yeah. Seems super cropped. I think yeah. the neck's also a little. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's if nice though. Like, oh, crazy. It's a great color.
Yeah, yeah, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Nice to meet you, bro. Pleasure's mine. Pleasure's mine. I watch your videos all the time, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Want to say what's up to the vlog? I'm actually rolling right now. Oh, what's up? How's your day going so far? Yeah, it's cool. This is my cousin's booth. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. He's right here. Oh, nice, nice. What up? He has a lot of subscribers on it. Yeah, you seen my videos too? It's crazy. Yeah, dude. It's stressed out. Bummer. Ooh, we're great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know That little tear. I know, dude. Such an, in, such an inopportune spot, dude. That was pretty sick. It looks really short, though. It does, huh? Yeah. But I am a short guy. Can I fit you? But 150? Oh. Uh, doesn't fit good, huh? No. <laughs> oh, no way. Um. 72 degrees for real? Oh yeah, it's too short. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done at the Rose Bowl. Incredible day. It started off pretty bad, I'm not going to lie, when they said that we couldn't go in, but perseverance, 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 you know? Anyways, uh, amazing day. I'll be showing you guys what I ended up purchasing at the Rose Bowl. Uh, it wasn't too, too crazy, but more than anything, it was an incredible experience. And I got to meet so many awesome people, some subscribers, and some just that enjoy this uh, sphere and uh, just love vintage. And so... Yeah, it was, it was such a great day overall, hanging out with the guys and talking to a lot of different people and stuff. And uh, yeah, the Rose Bowl is an amazing experience. If you guys have a chance to come out to LA, uh, I highly suggest you come visit the Rose Bowl. Anyways, with that to say, I'll see you guys over at the house in the office. Anyways, with that to say, I'll guys. Anyways, with that to say, I'll see you guys at the house and I'll show you guys what I ended up purchasing. Yo, what is good guys? So we're back here at the office. Now, just before I jump into everything that I did a purchase, I did want to let you know that the first item that I show you guys is actually for you. I'm actually going to be giving it away and to be eligible to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below and keep an eye on my Instagram story. So be sure to follow all the instructions and you should be good to go. Now onto that prize I'm talking about. We have here this Jean Prison Psycho Ward t-shirt. This thing is so, so fire. I knew at the very least, um, whether it was for me or for you guys, it needed to go home with me. And uh, yeah, just the fade, the age, and as you can see, the cracking on there is just so fire. It's got distressing. Uh, yeah, this was actually a personal purchase, but I did decide to go ahead and give it away. Uh, moving on, uh, I ended up getting this Kermit the Frog t-shirt from Privileged Vintage. Uh, he is such a big personality, such an amazing dude. And uh, shout out to him for hooking me up with this shirt. It says uh, Kermit the Frog unpigged it's kind of a, a spin-off of, of that kurt cobain t-shirt i don't know if you guys have seen it or not um the second thing i got was also from privilege and uh, we have here this harley davidson long sleeve this one's on uh the slimmer side i want to say it's a size medium uh just a fire t-shirt I have been wearing like my shirts a little bit more uh, closer to the body. And that's not to say I don't rock oversized vintage or oversized shirts in general. Um, it's just, I have enough of those. And uh, that's why I decided to uh, add this one to my collection. So, uh, moving on, this one was from, I think it was Bullet Code Vintage. You guys saw me try it on in the vlog and it's this Undertaker, The Last Ride. I just thought that, uh, that graphic up front was really fire. This one also fits pretty small to be honest. And of course here we have this back hit reads The Undertaker. So I thought this was a pretty fire t-shirt. Uh, these specific t-shirts here really, really hit home for me because like I've always been a Disneyland pass holder. It's just such a, a integral part of my childhood. I spent a ton of time at Disneyland to be honest with you. Uh, this first one here is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. The t-shirt design kind of reminds me of like a Harley tee, like a Harley pocket tee with the front crest right here. And then here on the back, you have this huge back hit, Pirates of the Caribbean. 
And uh, this one is actually single stitch from Walt Disney World. Uh, next up, we have this Tower of Terror crew neck. And I was actually at the opening of this ride um, in California Adventure. I think that was what, like 2006? I can't even remember. But this one I paid 70 bucks for, uh, which is... I think what retail was if i'm not mistaken if you had purchased it at the park and then last up we have here this is this is my favorite purchase this is the one that like kind of like broke the ice for me i saw these two there and i was like oh those are fire maybe purchase and then i saw this one i was like okay we got to do like a package deal type of thing and uh what we have here is another twilight zone tower of terror just look at that front head dude it's so fire single stitch fits super boxy really really dope t-shirt and then here on the back it says you can check in but you can't check out just a fire fire back and uh, this has to be my favorite purchase of the day that was everything that i did end up purchasing uh, from today's festivities hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you did be sure to hit the thumbs up button to let me know to keep the content coming also it simultaneously enters you into the giveaway uh, for this psych ward t-shirt out of which i do believe you will really really like a lot so yeah guys thank you so much for all the support if you guys want to continue to see more of uh, videos like this one uh, let me know by subscribing also commenting down below what you guys thought of today's video and as always, I'm insanely humbled that you guys continue to support me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm going to say peace and be blessed.